Epilepsy is a neurological disorder caused by malfunctioning nerve cells in the brain. As a result, patients suffer recurrent, unprovoked seizures. Epilepsy affects 1% of the population, among which one-third is resistant to medical treatment. To these patients, surgical removal of the lesional areas in their brains is the last hope of living a seizure-free life. The most widely used surgical technology is MRI plus intracranial EEG. Unfortunately, 45% of patients are MRI negative, which means doctors could not detect any abnormal areas in their MRI images. For these MRI negative patients, the seizure-free rate after surgery is only 29%. Our task is to detect lesional regions for MRI negative patients. Specifically, our model identifies the abnormal locations in a patient's brain which in turn serve as a focus areas for the neuroradiologists. Using this guidance the neurologists place the EEG sensors on the patient's cortex. We use surface-based morphometry to model a 3D MRI image. The associated challenges are the limited number of features and interpersonal variabilities in the training data. We employ the restricted Boltzmann machine and Dirichlet process mixture model to address these two issues respectively. Our model achieves up to 75% lesion detection rate on 18 MRI negative patients. Although the current sample may seem small, the results are significant since a board of experienced neuroradiologists failed to locate any lesion for all those patients. Our new approach also demonstrates more stable performance as compared to our previous logistic regression-based model. Our LR model has been in use at NYU's Comprehensive Epilepsy Center since 2013. We are evaluating potential replacement of the LR model in the clinical treatment for epilepsy. For technical details, please refer to our paper, A Non-Parametric Approach to Detect Epileptogenic Lesions Using Restricted Boltzmann Machines. This work is conducted by E. Jun Zhao and Bilal Ahmed from Tufts University under the guidance of Professor Jennifer D. and Professor Carla Broadley from Northeastern University in collaboration with doctors from NYU's Comprehensive Epilepsy Center.